Hey guys, it's Adam from Castle Bros, and I am back with another LEGO Star Wars mock slash review. Today I'm going to be showing you my latest mock, and it is called the Imperial um, the Imperial Communications Outpost on Endor. Now there, um, this is, as I already mentioned, a communications outpost stationed on Endor. So its sole purpose is to work the communications for the Imperial Navy. I guess. So, station on Endor, which means that there's a lot of greenery. And it is stationed alongside the shield generating place. If you have the Battle of Endor set, then. Or if you've seen episode 6, you know what I'm talking about. That scene with all the Ewoks attacking the Imperial troops with the. with the ATTE, blah blah blah. You know, or ATT, whatever, forget it. You know what I'm talking about. So this is just another station, and it would be stationed at the same time too, but this doesn't pose much of a threat to the rebels. All it is is a communications outpost. As you can see right now, there's a lot of greenery up front. There's no main defense, I, and you have some small vehicles up top. It's a small little outpost. I mean, there's not much there. There's not much needed to be accomplished weapon wise or artillery wise because all this is a communications outpost that's what it's meant to be you have a few guards up here scout trooping guards up here you have some uh speeders maybe to get away from stuff you have a little satellite i mean just simple things um so let's get right on to the details and the actual review so right off the bat i already mentioned all the greenery so Right here we have some banana leaves attached to a giant stick or palm tree leaves. You can see that they're just clips on. We use these leaf pieces up here. There's some in lime green, some in dark green, some in normal green. This base plate is a 32 by 32 in green. We have some of these uh, other leaf pieces, kind of like spades. On, they look like spade leaves or something, I don't know. Some little green flowers. Some more grass pieces that want to fall off everywhere. A little bit of like a wooden mushroom down there, it looks like. I don't know what that is. Uh, I got some more grass pieces around. I mean, there could have been a lot more, but I, I just kind of did what I had. Um, right here, let's get a better angle. As you can see right here, we have a little tree. This is the tree um, that came off of the indoor battle pack. Uh, I think a year ago, came with a scout trooper, storm trooper, and two indoor troopers, rebel indoor troopers. I just took the tree right off. It looks pretty nice. Right here we have a little Ewok that is spying on the is spying on the Imperial troops. Maybe for his tribe. Maybe they're posing a threat. Who knows? So yeah, let's move this up. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. So now let's get on to the actual building. Now, a lot of uh, building features that I use in my vehicles, and I, I'm, if you're subscribed to my channel, you know that um, I'm a vehicle guy. I make a lot of vehicles, cool vehicles, and I, m most of the time, I follow the same techniques throughout my videos for my mocks. Um, basic brick built and... Basic technique, brick built, and angling techniques. Simple techniques that anyone could do. But it's very effective. And I was thinking of doing a building series about it, blah, blah, blah. If you wanted that, maybe you could comment about it, something. I don't know. A lot of people want instructions for my video, so I might just do that. So let's get on to the actual mock. As you can see, we got some two scout troopers, which are up here. Let's get them focused. All right. Right here. See, they have their guns faced like that. Let's get everything light up. Oh, and guys, um, right now I'm using a better phone, which has a better camera, which has a better focusing system, and it's not laggy. Which I know a lot of you will like, because my last few videos have been a little bit laggy. Like, serious laggy. I had to record this video twice with the other camera, and then I finally just got this one. So, yeah. Alright, so there's two of these little guards here. They work. There's two doors back here, but 
um, right now you don't really need them. I'll show you the function. They open automatically with gears, but right now that's all we got. Now, as I was mentioning before, everything I build have all the same techniques. I mean, these are just little plates attached by snot bricks. Like, very important stop, snot bricks. Like, right here there's snot, right here there's snot. Right here there's snot, right here there's snot, right here there's snot. Right here there's snot. Whoa, <laughs> someone just texted me, sorry. Um, right here there's some more detailing, some more snot. It's just very simple. I mean, come on. Let's get on to the top view. Alright, you can see we got three speeders up here, some different gears and styling. They just sit up there. Take those off for now. We got another scout trooper about ready to mount his speeder. And this is what it looks like normally, just a big plate. Here we have a little satellite for the communications. Some random details, and um, those, I love these pieces right here. I think they were introduced in Exo Force, if I'm not mistaken. They might have been in earlier Star Wars sets, but whatever. I love those. You got some silver grill pieces going down the side. So yeah, we got some slow pieces, some tiles, blah, blah, blah. Now, as we turn this thing, I'm going to move this back, because this is very important. Um, the sides aren't very exciting, but the back is open back, just like the Battle of Endor set, but I feel like this has more going on on the inside. But, um, yeah, it's open back, just like that, and right now it's kind of hard, but you can remove this top piece very simply, only attached by four studs. Um, it's just a large bunch of plates attached and here's a better look at this you can see it this is just on a little turntable you can see so yeah let's move this up a little bit so you can see all the cool features of here here we got some railing here's a gun rack a little armament place very simple we got some tubing here so hydraulics something serious here we got two little electronic compartments which operate the doors we have a communication guy, really he's a captain, but he's communication guys for this. He's working the communication system. We have two little drawer things here and there. And the chairs are on little studs so they can swivel. And probably the main feature, you can see the doors right here, is that you turn these and it turns both the doors. Or it turns one door and you can just turn the other. And they close back up at the same rate. Just like that. Wow. Someone keeps te texting me. Alright. And there's around. So yeah. Now we're going to do it from this view. Let's see it. As you can see, it just opens up very simply. Just like that. And it just sits there like that, guys. So yeah, and then you can just... Whoa, just move the camera. I uh, just moved it again. <sighs> so you just sit like that. That's kind of messed up, but that's fine. Yeah, let's just take that off. So, um, thanks a lot, guys. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. And check out our channel later. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.